So all you need to get this done is a laptop that runs Windows 10 and you need two programs, T8 Suite and you need Trionic Can Flasher. So once you have those two programs, load it onto your computer, link will be in the description, you can get it working. You need an OBD Link SX cable and a saw. When you're starting with the tuning, you're going to want to plug your OBD Link SX cable into your OBD port. You're going to want to turn on your laptop. It needs to be running a Windows version. I think it can be XP, 7, 8, any, anything above XP should be fine. Once you get it running, do not open up the provided OBD Wiz software. You don't want to open that up. It causes an interference between the Trionic software and the car's ECU. Once you get everything plugged in, open up the Trionic Cam Flasher software, take your key, put it in, turn it to the on position, and then you're going to want to hit read ECU. It's right here, top right. Read ECU. We'll do OG ECU. Save that. And you're going to get two errors. You'll get a stability control failure and a traction control failure warning. When you restart your car, everything will be completely fine. So don't worry about that. Now you're going to see right here, it'll say how many bytes it has to download. And it's going to show right here how the progress is going. It's pretty slow, I'll be honest, but it'll work. You're going to want to hook up a battery terminal if you're going to be going through the full process of tuning your ECU. Just give it some time. Everything will work itself out, though. So we'll cut back to once everything's saved. So when it's done reading the ECU and it's all saved to your hard drive, you're going to find this. It'll say connection terminated. It'll tell you how long the duration was. This was 6 minutes, 16 seconds to give you an idea of how long it'll take. That's how you know it's done. So once that's done, once it says connection terminated, you're safe to disconnect the cable, turn off the key, and leave the car as it is. So you can unplug. You now have the ECU saved to your laptop. Now we're going to go inside and we're going to show you on the PC how we're going to tune the ECU then. Then we'll be back and show you how to install it. All right. So to tune our ECU bin, we're going to want to open up TA Suite Pro. Once we have it open, we're going to want to hit File, Open File, and then OGECU.bin, or really whatever you saved it as. Hit Tuning, and then go to Tuning Wizard. Hit Next. Hit Tune Model Year 03 to 06, B207R to Stage 1. Now, if you have a little T, you're going to want to do the B207E slash L to Stage 1. You want to hit Next. I fully understand the consequences. It'll show all the maps that it's changing. You can hit Finish, and that's it. Now, if you want to compare it with another binary, just to make sure that you did it right, you can compare it to an original binary that you have. So once we get it compared, we can see, oh, here are all the maps that we changed. Now, as a preface, this will only work for 2003 to 2006. It is possible to do the same thing for 2007 to 11. However, there is not just a nice little button built into the tuning wizard. You have to actually manually change the maps. I can make a tutorial for that as well if there's interest, but um, I just didn't want to go through that entire process. <laughs> anyway, that's all for this part. Now I'll show you how to load it onto your car. All right, so to flash the ECU, we're going to want to take our tune that we just made. We're going to want to do the same thing. Turn on the car. Turn the ignition to on, I should say. Open up our Trionic Can Flasher program. And once it's open... You're going to want to go here to Flash ECU. It's going to tell you to attach a charger. You are going to want to attach a charger. I'm not doing it again because I'm not actually tuning my car, but you would want to do that. Hit OK. And then you're going to want to select your tune. For us, that's stage1.bin. You're going to want to hit Open, and it'll upload your tune. Now, I'm not going to do that again because I have different hardware. It'll mess with my car, but the process is the same as what we did before. It'll go through. It'll have a green loading bar at the bottom. It'll tell you the process that it's going through on the screen. Once it's done, it'll say connection closed. You're safe to disconnect, and you can enjoy your tune. Have fun modding, guys.